how's it going guys and welcome back to another video we are here in Gloucester on my Gloucester stroke South Wales trip for the next two days uh, we're with Ross Wallace Adventures who isn't here right now because he's just gone into a site we're with Sam from Top Abandoned Places so we're just trying to get into a site now so I'll catch up with you guys in a second Okay guys, we are in the location. Um, had to wave some traffic to clear, it was quite busy around here. But where we are is actually some abandoned train sheds and apparently there is a train left inside them. Um, I did fly the drone up above this for a while but I had 18% battery so it's probably not much footage but I'm sure I've inserted that somewhere in the video. But yeah, let's go check it out. I don't know where Ross has gone, let's go find him. Okay, so apparently he's inside, the way in is on the other side so we're gonna go over there. <laughs> Oh, okay, down there. Fair enough. Oh, there's no train. I'm disappointed. <laughs> so guys, this is Ross. We're away from Ross Wallace Adventures. Please go check him out. Links in the description of both him and Sam, who's over there. But yeah, unfortunately no trains. But there's like a little yard. It's actually made like quite a cool little natural pond. But there's birds everywhere. I'm, I'm sorry birds, I know we're scaring the hell out of you, I know. So basically this would have been like a, a maintenance shed for trains. So there's tracks that run on the floor, just here. So the tracks are like either side of this, and it would have gone all the way up there, and they would have obviously done maintenance in the pit just over there, which is now full of water. So guys, that's the main building over there and there's a few other little bits around that we're just gonna have a quick look at. Don't appear to be too much here, but still an interesting site. But this trip, we've got loads and loads of sites planned. We're camping over tonight and we're doing more sites again tomorrow. So we're bound to hit something amazing. So stay tuned for new videos coming soon. They're not all gonna be one video, it's gonna be split up. So uh, yeah, keep it on the channel. So I'm guessing at some point this would have held a massive, maybe water tank? Yeah, probably a water tank or oil or something because you've got like a like a funnel thing which would have been attached to the tank itself but obviously the tank's now gone it's not there we'd have had like a big round um oil or water tank or petrol maybe i don't know um i'm guessing obviously it would have been liquid because the whole point of this being here this wall is if it ever has a spill it just goes into here not everywhere oh it's a warm day very warm why do I always choose like the hottest days to go exploring on, I swear? Like, I did this when I went exploring with Sean and uh, after we planned this trip. By the way, fun fact, today is the 19th of May? In May? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Whatever day it is, it's the day that um, the Royal Wedding's happening. Which uh, means that in the middle of Gloucester, it's been a bit mad. They've got like a massive screen up uh, with people watching the wedding. But yeah, we're nowhere near the middle at the moment. We're just out. It's quite nice and tranquil, but bloody hot. <laughs> really hot. Mm. Right, let's carry on. Oh, look at this. Did you see this? It's actually got the numbers left. It's got the numbers left on it as well. Gauge, uh... right there. <laughs> That's really cool. They're filling up the train. Okay, guys, site number two. Uh, we're going to try and get into this. It's a massive, massive site, but we drive up to the front gates and there is 100% definitely security on the front gate. We're just uh, seeing if we can skirt around. Um, if all that fails, you might actually just go up and ask them for permission, but we'll see what happens first of all, because we're, we're kind of assuming they're going to say no. <laughs> so but let me just quickly show you the, the size of this place. It's massive. This is the place over here and there's a massive chimney somewhere around here as well. And there's loads more buildings that go further back. So the place is huge. But we think we're gonna to have to go around this fence here and find a way in over there. Security is parked over there, around the front. Um, but we'll see what happens first of all. Ross has just gone inside this building here to see if there's a way in anywhere else. Okay. Right, 
success or you didn't do part of the building. Because stairs go quite away. Okay, so we kind of think this first building, there's a, there's a football club just next to here. We think this first building is actually to do with that because up here it says referee and you've got like the sports bottles and stuff. So I'm not 100% that this is actually part of the same site, but it's right on the edge of it where the fence is. So it might be a way into the big site, but this is pretty cool as well. So the bit we want to get into is this through here, the warehouse, and I think there's more warehouses over there. But we're wondering if we can get through this one, get out over there. But like I said, we've got to be careful because on the other side of those windows is where security are based. Okay, so this is this small bit explored, so we're going to go upstairs. So these are the women in the changing rooms. I've got home, yeah, and away. That looks like it leads out to the uh, factory floor. I reckon this would have been. It's got like a current turn pocket. Um, it's like a... That looks like a winch. That does. Yeah, either side. Oh, wow. You're yeah, not. Uh, don't come up. No. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at this. This is amazing. I just like the design of this, it's like really old fashioned. You know, the, the blue colour is really cool, the little peely paint. You know how much we like peely paint. So, the good news is this is actually quite cool. The bad news is it doesn't go anywhere, which is a shame. Is this the roof? Yeah. Oh wow, look at the roofs. I like this, this is really cool. So guys, this is why we're here. Look at this. This place is massive. I know you can see over there, there's a massive chimney as well. But look at these roofs. It's like urbex porn. <laughs> I love it. So guys, the football pitch I was talking about, and the reason why this particular thing is here anyway, is over there. So this is still an active football pitch. Uh, it doesn't look like they've got any change rooms or anything, which is why I kind of was quite surprised. I mean, I know that the whole place is wrecked, but I'm assuming it wasn't. Uh, but they could have renovated it and, you know, made it usable. Although, these roof things are asbestos, so that's probably why they've closed it. But yeah, still active over there. And we've got people walking around. <laughs> Hi, people. This is actually really cool. <laughs> like I said, even if we don't get into the, the rest of it, the, this particular section is actually quite cool. But we really want to get into bits that are over there because they're absolutely huge. But it's just trying to get to them from here. Uh, but I think I have to go back out again and probably find another way into the main section because there's no way to that section from here. But a really cool site, really cool. So guys, we've just been skirting the site and uh, come across this bridge, which is really cool. It goes over quite a nice looking river actually, or stream, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, this would have been used by the factory at some point because it's actually attached over there and that's a big fence blocking anyone from getting to the uh, factory from there but yeah quite cool bit different so Ross has actually got onto the bridge I think through this little, little hole here oh wow you can walk across there so guys we're through we've made it onto the actual bridge 
but this does look slightly dodgy. <laughs> People canoeing. So we get them to wave at us. Wave! Hey! <laughs> I want to go canoeing, can't we go canoeing instead? Okay guys, so I probably look a bit worse for wear, a bit sweaty now. It's still seriously, seriously hot, but we're in. We got in the main section, so we need to be a little bit careful now because there are 100% security in this site. They're by the front gate, so we're going to try and avoid that, but they might patrol, we don't know. Uh, knowing our luck, we probably just got in and they'll probably just find us straight away and chuck us out, but at least if they find us and chuck us out, hopefully we go through the front gate. Also, on a side note, I uh, completely scratched up my back doing this, but you know how it is, guys. We do it because we love exploring and it doesn't matter if you get a few cuts and bruises, bumps, whatever. You get in the site, you get a decent video out of it, get a decent explorer out of it and uh, you're laughing. Oh, Jesus. Guys, I don't know if you can hear this, but this is like a power generator and it's still on. Wait, there's still goods here. They're still good here. Okay, that's a bit weird. So guys, there's a warehouse here that's open, but there's actually still goods. Like over here. Which um, is a bit weird. So guys, the issue we've got right now is that uh, the warehouse behind us has actually still got actual goods, like new goods. These aren't like left abandoned. So these have been placed here quite recently, which is probably why the security. The issue with that is that we don't want people thinking we're nicking stuff, because we're not. <laughs> so. If we get caught here, that might be an issue because they might be like, well, you nicked anything. Although I haven't said that, there are massive sacks. I think if we'd nicked anything, they'd know because we'd have massive sacks in our hands. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, it's always a bit concerning because then um, you might get into the realms of like criminal trespass rather than civil trespass. So, obviously we're not nicking stuff. <laughs> Just to put that out, we're not nicking stuff. Okay, guys. Oh. This is on off siren test and it's on. Oh shit. Mm -hmm. Right, I'm gonna head upstairs. Wow, look at these. Sports social, branch general manager and union and fire safety training. So these really like notice boards for the workers. You say cafeteria? Oh, it is a cafeteria. I thought it was like a manager's office. <laughs> oh, wait, guys, guys, guys. There's no security. There's no security. He's gone. He's gone, there's no car there. So we can actually see where the security was. It was that little hut, because we, we brought the car down and turned it around. But they were in that little hut when we turned around. But they're not there anymore. So either they're, yeah, either they're walking around looking for us or uh, they've left. So guys, I think we may have got amazingly lucky because like I said, when we turned up, there was security here. We've been here a couple of hours now, to be honest, because it's quite a while to find a way in. But it doesn't look like there's any security there now, which is good. Um, the other good thing as well is if security aren't there, we can just climb over the front gate because the front gate is actually really easy to get out of from the inside. Um, so that would be way, way easier than the way we came, which hurt a lot. <laughs> There's still paperwork left. So we've got a production record sheet left on the wall. Cut sleeves, pitch four. Don't know what that is, but that is really cool. Oh, gross. So I think these are, um, what were, biscuits. And there's like weevils or something living inside them. That's really gross. That's proper deterioration. <laughs> oh wow, it's an acoustic booth. Please face the wall when using telephone. Obviously there's no telephone here anymore, but this would have been a noise, ca oh wow, oh wow, that works really well. This is like a noise cancelling booth. I don't know if that's picking up on camera or not, but it sounds really, really weird, like almost like I'm on a radio show.
my god, what the hell? Why? Why is this here? I'm actually in shock. Honestly, I've not felt like this since the mansion we did in New Year's. There's no security. Amazingly lucky. 